Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here we are creating a secure private network and a guest public network using DDWRD firmware. The private network is meant for a prime user, whereas the guest network is meant for the guests who are trying to get wireless connectivity from the same router. Since the two networks are separate, we are reducing the security risks and by enabling the QoS capability of the DDWRD, we can prioritize the bandwidth allocation of private and the guest network separately. This ensures optimum bandwidth performance for our private network. To begin with, we need a clean installation of DDWRT, uh, which can be done by a simple factory reset on the router, and this router is connected to the laptop using a LAN cable. We first type in the default address of the DDWRT in our browser, which is 192.168.1.1. Here we first need to change the username and the password. password has to be re-entered. We now go to the wireless tab and we are asked to re-enter the username and password. So here we have to enter the names of the or the SSIDs of the two networks. The first one being private and the other as guest and then we click on apply settings now the wireless connections in the wireless connections tab we have to you can see the two SSIDs of the two networks and the next step is to apply wireless security here private and guest and in the wireless security the private network has to be secured so we can select WPA2 personal and enter the WPA shared key for this network here and then click on apply settings. As the guest network is unencrypted there is no need for a password. <coughs> now we go to the setup tab and in that we go to the networking sub tab here we can see one bridge and two wireless networks as VLAN 0 and WL01 0.1 for the two separate networks uh, we need to create a bridge so we are calling the first bridge as BR1 and then we click on apply settings. In the, in the IP address of bridge we enter 192.168.1.1 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255 .255 .255 .255 and then click on apply settings now we need to assign our guest network to a bridge so we go to the yes assign to bridge and here we select BR1 in the WL0.1 interface and then click on apply settings for clients of the guest network, we need to create a DHCP server. So here we select BR1 and click on apply settings. Now it would show here the IP address range of the guest network, which we can see here. The next step is to prioritize the bandwidth usage so we go to the NAT slash QoS tab and then the QoS sub tab first we enable the QoS capability of DDWRT the network has to be assigned 95% of total bandwidth here we have a 30 Mbps line here so we enter 28,000 Kbps both for uplink and downlink 
then we have to click on apply settings in the net, ma net mask priority we end up 192.168.0.0 slash 24 for the private network and then click add and enter 192.168.2.1 slash 24 for the guest network and click add again uh, then we select premium priority for our private network and bulk priority for the guest network and then click on apply settings so by doing this we have successfully created two networks first as private and the other one as guest which are visible in the wireless connections when we try to connect to the private network it would ask for a password which is the WPA shared key whereas it connects directly to the guest network without asking for a password. Thank you.